Big welcome this week. My name is Vicky and a big welcome to all in St. John's Parish, the Spa Parish and Khmer Parish, especially those preparing for their Holy Communion. Now this week's story is Noah and the Flood. So I'm sure you all know Noah's Ark and the Flood. This is the story this week. God created everything and he said, it is good. The people started to do bad things. So God decided to send a big flood and to make the earth clean and new again. But there was one family that God saved. They were good. The father is Noah. This is Noah. His wife is Nema. This is Nema. And Noah and Nema had three sons. And their three sons had three wives. Noah walked with God. God spoke to Noah and Noah spoke to God. Noah knew what God wanted. God wanted Noah to build a big boat called an ark. This is the ark. And as Noah built the ark with his family, the animals came from the four corners of the earth. Animals came two by two and made their way into the ark. From the four corners of the earth. Many animals had to travel a long journey to get to the ark. They travelled two by two. When Noah and his family and two of every animal were in the ark, it started to rain. And it rained and it rained. At first, it was like any other rain. Then the puddles started to join together and it rained down from the heavens and up from the earth and it rained and the ark started to float on the water and went up and up. So much so when the creatures looked out of the ark all they could see was water and it rained and it rained. But God did not forget Noah and his family and all the animals in the ark. And after 40 days and 40 nights, it stopped raining. And the water started to go down. Noah took a dove and set it free. And it flew all around the earth and returned to Noah. There was nothing but water. Noah waited for seven days and again he set the dove free and it flew all around the earth. This time when the dove returned it had a fresh olive leaf in its, in its beak. There was something green and growing in the earth again. Noah waited another seven days and he set the dove free and it flew all around the earth. But this time it did not return. 
It found a home and built a nest. And God sent a big wind to help move the water away. And the ark came down and down until eventually it landed on the clean new earth again. The animals came from the ark, two by two, as they went in. And Noah and his family. They were all so happy and so grateful to God, they built a big altar. And after they built the altar, they saw a big bow in the sky of all colours. And God said, this bow, which we often see today when it's raining and sunny, we call it a rainbow. God said he sent this rainbow as a reminder and a promise to them that he will never send such a flood again. The animals returned to the four corners of the earth and they filled it with life again. I wonder, I wonder which part of the story you liked best. I wonder which part is the most important. I wonder where you are in the story. And what part is about you? I wonder, is there any part of the story we can leave out and still have all the story we need? I wonder. There's many ways to respond. You can draw a picture of Noah and the ark and all the animals. Maybe you'd like to read the story in the Bible at home yourself. Or you could make your own ark at home out of Lego or whatever you have at home. And talk to your family about Noah and the ark. We have Noah and Nehemiah the altar they built, the animals that came from the four corners of the earth. And the dove that flew all around the earth and his nest. Thank you.